Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it was here and you could walk to it and some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island and now there's lots of trees because it's warmer. So now there's people on the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the mountains, eating nuts off trees and using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ding dong, it's the outside world and they have technology from the future, like really good metal and crazy rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important, ruled by a heavenly superperson, or emperor for short. Knock knock, get the door, it's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. Try it, he said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, China, they said. Hi, dipshit, said China. Can you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Like what, said China. How about Sunrise Land, said Japan. And they stole China's alphabet and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while, right here. And they conquered the north, finally. Get that squared away. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So if you live outside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit from criminals? Hire a samurai. Everyone started hiring samurai. Rich, important people hired samurai. Poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai. The samurai became organized and powerful, more powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here, they let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news: the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us, or else we might invade you as well. Okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again, and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. And the emperor overthrows the shogunate, then the shogunate overthrows him back and moves to Kyoto and makes a new shogunate. And the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants, that's fine. There's more art. Like painting with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid, so he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. He says okay, but then the shogun has a kid. So now who's it gonna be? Vote now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The shogun actually didn't care, he was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power, and it's anybody's game. Knock knock, it's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit, like clocks and guns and cheese. So that's cool, but everyone's still fighting each other for control now with guns. And wouldn't it be nice to control the capital, which right now is puppets with no one controlling them? This clan is ready to make a run for it. But first, they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Surprise, the smaller clan wins. And the leader of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades the capital. And it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering Japan, and someone who works for him kills him. And then someone else who works for him kills them. And that guy finishes conquering Japan. And then he confiscated every resource, and made some rules. And now he's a victory, and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until his old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right, he's not gonna be this kid, he's gonna be the boss, because of the brutes. And it's probably gonna be this guy, he's gonna be way more rich and powerful than the others. A lot of people support him, a lot of people support him, support him. They have a fight, and he wins, and starts a new government, right here. He still lets the emperor dress like emperor, and have very nice things. But don't get used, this is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict, close to the country, no one can leave, and no one can come in. Except for the batch, everyone's on social, they have to be right here. All of these bad pictures are not worth it, so the population increased a lot. Business increased, schools are built, roads are built, everyone needs to read, books are published, there's poetry, plays, sexy films, puppet shows, and best studies, and decided to study European science, and books are published in books, which are geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy,